there and welcome to um, learning all about Minecraft education. We are super excited to be sharing some information about uh, Minecraft in the classroom. And my name is Jamie Chenault. I am a third grade teacher at Harmony Elementary. And today I have some of my students who have absolutely loved having mine my access to Minecraft um, in our classroom here with me today. So we're going to do this a little bit differently. We're going to do it in an interview style. And so um, we're going to go ahead and get started. So today we have with us Jabin, Lane, and Noah. And so I'm going to start out by asking the question, just a super basic question of what is Minecraft EDU? So Jabin, if you'll go ahead and start us off. Okay, so it's a game that is made of only cute blocks and it has a high rating and, and possibilities are infinite. There is survival, creative, and adventure mode. Awesome. And Lane, would you like to add to that? Okay, so it's a fun video game made of blocks so you can build, fight, and have fun. And why do you like Minecraft, Noah? Because of the crafting and how you get to do all these amazing things and build amazing things. And the game is about creation. I would describe it as entertaining. Very good. Jabin? Fun. And Noah? Amazing. Awesome. So those are all great um, adjectives to describe Minecraft. Um, and especially in the classroom, like what teacher wouldn't want kids to describe um, what they're doing as entertaining, fun, and amazing. So it taught me to work with others and problem solve and tickle when win and synergizing. Well, for example, like I... I have 10 diamonds, and there's nine players, including me. So I got to divide those 10 diamonds. So, so that's when I solve problems and synergize. What do you want teachers to know about Minecraft EDU? And Jabin, we're back to you, bud. It is safe and fun, so you can teach. For example, there is element blocks that could help you in science. Also, so in Minecraft education, so there are these books, there's bookshelves, and there's little notes, and then I think there's pages on them that you can read. Yes, very good. So you can actually write in Minecraft EDU? Um, Maybe. Yeah, with the book and quill and the signs. Um, what is your favorite thing that you have created in Minecraft EDU? So, um, an underwater house because it was fun to build. It is underwater and is hidden from everyone. Very good. And Jabin? The treehouse that has everything, also the gigantic underground house. Awesome. Noah, is there something that you would like to share that you've built that you're proud of? Well, uh, I've built underground homes. And um, in those underground homes, I found mines. And I have a lot of diamond armor. Because if you're watching this, you're interested, you're a teacher that's interested in Minecraft. But I can promise you, you can ask these three kiddos that I have, n I don't know very much about Minecraft, um, but they do. They're the experts. Um, and so that didn't hold me back. That didn't hold me back from saying, okay, we're all going to get logins and you're going to get to create and I'm going to just get to watch you create. And so um, I was not an expert at all in Minecraft. Um, but please don't let that shy you away from uh, assigning or helping out um, your kiddos get logged into Minecraft EDU in Oldham County. Hi, my name is Bowen, and I will be showing you how to get started on Minecraft Education Edition. Okay, so you have to download it. If you're on a Mac, hit Mac. 
if you're on an iPad, hit my iPad. If you're on Windows, hit Windows. And if you're on a Chromebook, hit Chromebook. Okay. Now that you've downloaded it, get in. Then you have to sign in. Right. Now that you're signed in, you want to create a world. This is how you create it. If you want to create a template, there's a lot of cool stuff. Okay. Then if you want to join a world, you can play with your classmates or whatever. Say, okay, now you have to put in a code. Okay, so this is the hot bar. It's night time and there's monsters at. This is the hot bar. This is where you get all your stuff. Okay, then there's settings. You can turn it into survival. I'm in survival. But if you turn it cre to creative, guess what? You can't die. And you can fly around and you have all the bricks you can have. See, if I wanted an iron door, I would get an iron door. This is my buddy Jake. Okay, so then you're in creative, you want to try to make a little house. Torches keep monsters away. You come in here, you want to rest, you can rest in a bed. Like, like two finger click or right clicking. Or then, okay, so settings. Whoop. So, survival is where you have to, you can die in it, but it's fun because you have to survive. Creative, you can do a lot of cool stuff and make a lot of cool things. Adventure mode is like survival, but there's no monsters. Then, show coordinates, that's, it shows you where it is. Then, uh, then all this stuff. And then the game mode, see if I turn it to peaceful. No monsters. Then if I turn it back to easy mode. Oh, they have to spawn again. Let's see, there's more monsters. Okay, so then this is this is how you get get started in Minecraft.